Weaponized Insulin, the Predatory Habits of the Environmental Cone Snail. The Geographic Cone Snail, or Conus geographus, is a predatory marine snail found in tropical seas and oceans worldwide. It primarily preys on small to medium-sized fish that can fit inside its stretching mouth. The geographic cone snail is not known to move quickly, so it has evolved to catch its prey by releasing and immobilizing venom into the water. This venom was recently found to contain a unique type of insulin that causes the prey's blood sugar to plummet. As the insulin triggers the uptake of glucose, the fish becomes lethargic and thereby easier to catch. The slow-moving cone snail can then approach its sluggish prey and pull it into its stretchy, elongated mouth. Here, the geographic cone snail can inject more venom to kill the fish. The geographic cone snail has earned the nickname the cigarette snail from its predatory habits. This nickname is based on the exaggeration that a person stung by the snail would have enough time to smoke a cigarette before ultimately dying. Recently, a team of researchers pursued an explanation for how the geographic cone snail immobilizes its prey. Dr. Helena Savavi and her team investigated the gene sequences of all the proteins found in the venom of the snail. What they found was a sequence that closely resembled the hormone insulin. Chemical analysis revealed two transcripts called C. geographus insulins 1 and 2 that matched the insulin of the animals the snails preyed on. Further study indicated that cone NG1 insulin 1 is similar in structure to fish insulin, whereas cone NG2 insulin 2 is similar to molluscan insulin. Dr. Savavi hypothesized that cone snails choose to eat either fish or mollusks based on which form of insulin they produce. To test this theory, the researchers conducted controlled experiments. For the control group, the scientists used a species of snails that does not produce any venomous insulin. Insulin producing cone snails served as the experimental group. The researchers found that the mollusk eating snails only expressed a molluscan like insulin and fish eating snails only expressed a fish like insulin. Therefore, Dr. Savavi and her team concluded that the type of insulin expressed in the venom gland correlates with the cone snail's feeding preference. To confirm that the geographic cone snail uses insulin as a weapon, the scientists tested a synthetic form of the snail insulin on zebrafish. The results of the experiment are displayed in this graph. Section A illustrates that the insulin from the cone snail can return blood levels to their set point. The scientists demonstrated this by inducing hyperglycemia in zebrafish using streptozotysin. They then treated the fish with either human insulin or cone snail insulin. This graph clearly shows that the cone snail's insulin is capable of decreasing the blood glucose levels of the fish. Section B shows what happens when 25 nanomoles per milliliters of cone NG1 was introduced to the environment. Both the percentage of the time that the fish spent on swimming, the locomotive activity, and the movement frequency greatly decreased when compared to the corresponding baseline. Therefore, when injected with the synthetic insulin, the zebrafish blood sugar indeed dropped, and their swimming patterns were disturbed. The experiment affirmed that geographic cone snails used the insulin in their venom to send their prey into hypoglycemic shock, making them easier to capture. Another test was conducted to determine whether or not direct insertion of the insulin is necessary for the fish to be rendered disoriented. This time, the insulin was released into the water to see its degree of impact on the fish larvae. The researchers concluded that when insulin is released in the external environment, it can induce hypoglycemic shock in fish via direct absorption through the gills into the bloodstream. These hormones elicit such a dramatic response in fish that one scientist described the fish as looking like they're passed out drunk. The experimental conclusion suggests that cone NG1 can efficiently cross the endothelium of the gill plexus to go into the bloodstream. In conclusion, this study is important because it demonstrates the power of hormones over the bodily functions of living things. When the hormone balance is suddenly changed, it can have major repercussions. Like when the cone snail uses a weaponized version of insulin to send a fish into hypoglycemic shock. This insulin is highly potent and could be used as model for a new insulin therapy for diabetics. Insulin from the saliva of Gila monsters has already been made into a drug that effectively treats diabetes. On the other hand, the insulin can be modified to affect humans and be used in biowarfare. No other animal is known to use insulin as venom. This class of insulin seems to have evolved to give the slow-moving geographic cone snail an advantage when capturing prey. We hope that you have enjoyed this video and learned something new about the geographic cone snail and its interesting hunting methods.